Cheers. Welcome aboard Falcor. I'm Leslie. And I'm Steven. We are a couple of adventure seekers from the mountains who traded it all in for a new life at sea. Together, we've mastered the art of tiny living in a camper, traveled to amazing places around the world, and now we've begun an endless saga of adventure and boat work aboard our 1981 CNC Landfall 38 Falcor. We invite you to tag along for the ride and support our journey by hitting the subscribe button and joining our Patreon community. Welcome to Falcor Sailing, where sometimes we go sailing to cool places, other days we go on really awesome adventures, and sometimes we stay on the boat for four days in a row because the wind is too strong and it's just not safe to take our eight foot dinghy a mile into town. That's the reality that we're in right now. We are sharing the real deal with you. We have been able to see some really cool stuff the last few days. We've seen some kiteboarders super close to the boat, amazing sunsets. Where we are anchored while it's far from town, it's where every single charter takes their sunset cruise. We've got a direct view of the sunset and it's amazing. We got some fresh water delivered from our neighbors who are just the absolute best. Thank you, Jim and Amanda. And tomorrow, the wind is supposed to be much more calm. So we're gonna go into town. I think I'm gonna rent a bike, maybe go to the beach, take you along for the ride. So let's get into it. <laughs> My excitement for a long bike ride to the beach quickly faded in our rainy 30 minute dinghy ride ashore. Plans are always fluid when you're cruising, so I made some new ones after some Cuban coffee and one of my favorite views. Meanwhile, Steven was working hard on other boats so we can afford to continue working on our boat. He's been glassing, painting, and repairing the Dreamcat for the past few weeks. With Steven back at work and gloomy skies overhead, I decided to spend the morning soaking up a bit of Key West history inside at the Shipwreck Treasures Museum. Key West Society. It was a cosmopolitan city with a mixture of people and customs rivaled only by New Orleans. Cockney-speaking wreckers from the Bahamas, lean Connecticut fishermen, quickly silk-hatted underwriters and ship's agents from Virginia and Charleston, maritime lawyers from Mobile and New York, Cuban lottery ticket sellers. As you walk through the museum, it literally feels like you're in the warehouse of Captain Asa Tift, the legendary salvage master. Back in the era of the wreckers, the Straits of Florida, which is the stretch of sea we just sailed down over the last month or so, was the lifeline of the United States. Large ships would often pass through with lucrative cargo on board. In the early 1800s, Key West became the wealthiest city per capita in the United States from wrecking. The practice of recovering valuables from ships that ran aground, crashed into coral reef, or sank off the coast of the Florida Keys. In the 1820s, Congress passed a law requiring any wrecks taken in U.S. waters to be valued by the courts, making Key West the primary hub for selling salvaged cargo. Most of the displays throughout the museum include cargo from the Isaac Allerton, a 137-foot-long, 594-ton American merchant ship that sank in 1856 during a hurricane 15 nautical miles from Key West. Because the ship sank in such deep water and wreckers were free diving to retrieve cargo, they were unable to salvage everything. The ship was rediscovered in 1985 by a group of local divers and most of what is on display here came from that new discovery. Okay, that was really freaking cool. I hope that you learned as much as I did on that tour. There's so much history here that I had no idea about. And now the part I'm most excited for. 
climbing up to the observation tower to get a brilliant view of Key West. Standing on top of the 65 foot observation tower looking over Key West, I can't help but imagine the thrill of hearing the battle cry. Rock ashore! Rock ashore! And getting to the wreck first to discover all the treasure. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Falcor Sailing as we continue to explore Key West. There is still so much to see, so you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and continue tagging along for the ride. Woo!